everyone has words they can learn, right? So we never stop learning words throughout the lifespan. There's always more words that can be learned. And, uh, and, and improving our vocabulary knowledge improves our ability to comprehend complex texts and to express ourselves uh, verbally uh, through speech and in writing. Really, vocabulary instruction can be, can be done by multiple practitioners, right? It can be the, the regular classroom teacher, a special education teacher, a speech language pathologist. It can be, you know, uh, across the school uh, environment and even at home. Getting kids excited about learning new words and, and motivating them to be, you know, to, to take on this challenge can be really helpful. A lot of the words that we learn are just through things that we read. And, um, and so if, if children are curious about new words and motivated to, you know, to learn them, um, they can increase their vocabulary knowledge even on their own. Uh, the way vocabulary instruction has traditionally occurred with worksheets or, or, or see a word and memorize the definition is not so effective. Um, and so uh, one of the things that we want to remember across all grade levels is um, the importance of, of giving children um, both the definition and multiple examples in real authentic context. Um, and so they get to see how the word is used in a variety of sentence contexts. Um, and that allows them to have a deeper representation of the word's meaning and, um, and how it can be used. Additionally, we want children to do more than just memorize this word goes with this definition and this syntactic frame. We want them to actually be able to reflect on the meaning and the context and where a word might apply and where it might not apply. And um, in the vocabulary research, this is often called active processing. And so by engaging children in active processing activities, we naturally see that the instruction is a lot more dynamic and interactive than it would be with just a simple worksheet. Repetition and review is a really, really important component of vocabulary instruction. And traditionally, words might be taught on Monday and you have a test on Friday and then you never revisit them. But that's not effective for keeping the word in your long-term memory and having it affect your reading comprehension later on. It's better if words are, are reviewed over time um, so that they can be remembered longer. And for children who have developmental language disorder, we know that more instruction is needed than for typically developing children to have those meanings be well, well learned and remembered. Vocabulary is something that all students can still learn and everyone can benefit from additional vocabulary instruction. So I actually hope it appeals to a broader audience to include regular classroom teachers and school administrators, as well as parents who may wish to support their children's uh, vocabulary and literacy learning.